What's up, world? It's Peace Out checking in for Nerd Era, where nerd culture reigns supreme. And today we're here to talk about The Legend of Korra, Season 3. Um, I got an opportunity to watch the first two episodes of Season 3 of The Legend of Korra, and um, I'm pretty excited. Uh, let me first off by saying I'm a huge Avatar Airbender fan. It is probably my favorite animated series of all time, and that's saying a lot because there's a lot of phenomenal animated series out there. Um, a lot of people say that Legend of Korra isn't as good as the original Airbender series. I disagree with them. I think Korra is every bit as good as the original Airbender series. I think the original Airbender series was more special because it was new and, and you know a little bit more unique. But if you look at the storytelling, character development, and action, this, mo this series is as good, if not better, than the original Avatar series. So that's, that's the first thing I gotta say. Um, however, I will say that the beginning of season two of Korra was some was my least favorite era in uh, Avatar history. Um, I, I feel like the first half of season two of Legend of Korra was just not good at all. I, I didn't enjoy it. The second half of season two of Legend of Korra was amazing, and it made up for how bad the first half. So, I'm a little bit skeptical coming into season three because from what I understand, we have two more seasons of Korra coming up. And I was like, are, are they gonna fumble out the gate like they did with season two? Or are they gonna, you know, hit it on all notes? And right now I have to say, I'm really excited about what I'm seeing with these new Korra episodes. Now I say new Korra episodes because I'm gonna be honest, if you guys haven't heard, a few of the episodes leak, six episodes leak. And um, they're in Spanish. <laughs> So yeah, I'm a nerd, so you know I watched them in Spanish, and um, I gotta say, I, I had to, I, I loved them, I couldn't I couldn't help but to watch them, and um, I really am enjoying what they're doing. So let's talk about real quick what we're, we're gonna see for the new season of Korra, and I'm not gonna spoil too much. Um, it's called Change, because there's a lot of changes, and as you guys know, um, <clears throat> as a result of the end of season two of Legend of Korra, um, the harmonic convergence occurred and now spirits are amongst the, the real world and that whole change in the status quo I love it when a television show or a series changes the status quo so I really appreciate that they did that in Korra um, this season seems like they're gonna do deal a lot with airbenders and recreating and reestablishing the airbending nation and um, I really appreciate that we're also in the earth kingdom and even though uh, you know, I kind of like, I kind of prefer Korra to Aang's Avatar series. I will say, uh, book two of, of the original Avatar series, when they're in the Earth Kingdom, and Ba Sing Se, is my favorite single season of any Avatar. Like, with the Dai Li and everything, it, that was just the best. And them returning to the Earth Kingdom, and now they have to deal with the Earth Queen, I love it. Just love it, love it, love it, love it. Um, another thing I love about the new Korra series is they have uh, new villains, and there's a, there seems to be a villain in each uh, uh, discipline of bending, a fire villain, a, an air villain, you know, an earth villain, and a water villain, and that's just so cool. Like, and we've never, we haven't had, you know, a group of villains before, you know, we've always had, you know, a single villain or whatever, so just to have a group of villains and to have, you know, to go up against Team Avatar is great. Um, like I said, I don't want to spoil too much because um, it'll probably be a while before a lot of these episodes air. But all I have to say is I'm really excited about this new season of Korra. I like it already better than how season two started off, so I'm really excited where we're going to go. And yeah, go Team Korra. And this is Peace Cell checking in for Nerd Era.